Alright guys, welcome to video 5. This is going to be going over an image field. Um, today we're going to look at getting some images put in next to all these beers. And in order to do that, we're going to add an image field to our beer class. Um, we're also going to look at updating the database once you've made changes to a model that already exists um, and some alternative solutions to that. So let's start by going into our project route here and we're going to go into the beer app and we're going to look at the models so today we're going to add an image field we're going to call it image1 to our beer class so this is going to be models.image field and in Django you have to give it an upload to set that equal to um, we'll do images and we'll call this beer thumbs. All right. So Django will automatically use your media root that you declared in your settings to uh, append it to the beginning of this string. So whatever we set as the media root inside of there, there should be a folder called images, and inside of that needs to be beer thumbs. And then this beer thumbs folder needs to be writable by your Apache user. Um, so that Apache can dump the files in there once you upload them. All right. So, um, okay. So before we do this, all right. Here, I will copy this line, um, and we're gonna delete it. And let's first go back into our project root, and we're gonna do manage.py SQL all beer. So this is going to give us the SQL dump for the beer table as it is now. So I'm going to, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and copy this. And we're going to do a new shell. We're going to say vim, whatever, paste. Okay, so we'll come back to that in a minute here. Let me move this over here. So I'm going to put that there for now. All right, so back in our beer app, in our models, we're gonna say image one equals models dot image field upload two equals images beer thumbs. All right, so now if you go into the project root and run sync db it's going to tell you there's no fixtures found because it's already created the table uh, beer beer um, even though if we do SQL all now that we have an updated model you'll see it's got this extra field in here um, but it's still telling you that there's no fixtures found so this is because um, manage.py will not uh, modify the database schema to match models. It only checks to see if the table's been created. If you modify the model after the table's been created, you have to go in and do the changes yourself. And there's a couple different ways to do that. Um, you can go in to your database using PHP My Admin and just drop the whole table. So like I'd go into beer, beer, and you just click drop and just drop the whole table. Um, and then run sync db again and it'll recreate this table with the proper schema um, but the downside to that is we lose all the objects that are in the database and we have to rebuild the whole table um, so that's not really going to work for us because I don't want to put all those beers back in again uh, the other option is to do SQL all and then go in and make these changes manually now since we only added a field to a model um, there's this is the only change that we need to make um, if you're adding a field that is a foreign key to something else or many-to-many -many relationship or something like that you're gonna have to do more than just add this field you're gonna add uh, some constraints on a table and you'll probably create a new index for it so you want to make sure that you catch all the differences between the output of what it was before and after you change the model <clears throat> Alright, so let's go add this. So we're going to add a field called image1. It's going to be a varchar, uh, 100 in length and not null. And it's going to come after description. So in PHP my admin, 
we're going to add one field after description hit go um, it's going to be called image one it's a var char 100 and it's not null alright so let's hit save so now you can see this table has this new field that we just created so that's about all you have to do um, if you don't do that you don't add the extra field into the database um, when you go and try and save Django will throw an error and say the database schema doesn't match you gotta go fix that alright so now let's go into our media root ah, so it's in sites video one ht docs and there should be a folder in there called media so now we need to make images and then inside of images we need to make beer thumbs so for now I'm just gonna change it to 777 um, I have a whole permission scheme set up with Linux user groups um, you're gonna wanna make sure you put the proper permissions on yours uh, which I'll go back and do later okay so um, let's restart the web server and now let's take a look at the admin in here alright so now inside of our beers uh, if we go into a beer you can see it's now got an image field here um, and if we add a new beer the image field shows up here so that wasn't there before um, so yeah all those changes mirror throughout you don't have to touch the admin you don't have to do anything like that we've already registered the model so it's all done so now um, I have this beer thumbs folder here with thumbs for all of our beers so I'm gonna go through and add those to each beer um, so in our desktop we got beer thumbs and we're looking at Bud Light and we're gonna hit save and there you go so now if we go back into Bud Light it shows you here's the full path to it it's that media images beer thumbs and then the file name and the PNGs in there um, so I'm gonna go through and add all the rest of these thumbs I'm gonna cut out and come back alright so now we've got all these beers uh, equipped with images um, so now what we're going to take a look at is getting those images onto this page um, so we're going to have the image for each beer show up so back in our project root um, we're going to go into our templates and we're going to look at beers all so for beer and beers, remember the view past the list of beer.objects.all uh, called beers, and then we iterate through it in a for loop in the template. So um, we're going to add the image right here, and it's going to be actually let's add it inside of the link so that the image is linked. And we're going to say img src equals, and then here we're going to do a template variable, and it's going to be beer dot image one dot url so that's going to give us the url to image one um, alright so let's write that and let's go over here and refresh and you see all of our beer images pop up now so that's one way to deal with images in Django um, there's a couple other ways all that the image field does is provides you with a very simple browse button um, it'll capture the image for you save it for you and then in the template it'll provide you with a URL uh, to the image that you can call at any time um, there's other packages that exist that uh, leverage the Python imaging library to do things like thumbnailing watermarking resizing cropping stuff like that uh, we'll get into those a little bit later but for now 
um, this will do. So one other thing that we can do that's really going to help people out um, when we put our image in here is we can add some help text in the admin and this will come in handy pretty often. So if we look at this, this is 50 by 180 image uh, in image size. So if we go back into our beer app and we look at our model um, in image 1 we can add a field called help text and we're going to say 50 by 180 pixel image okay so back in our admin now um, if we refresh this you'll see right here that's this is where the help text shows up so you can tell people you need to upload a 50 by 180 image or we might not be able to deal with it and you can add that to any field uh, just by adding some help text here when you create the field. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.